Have you ever considered taking an underwater train ride? The United Arab Emirates never ceases to amaze the globe with its world records. Whether it's shopping, theme parks, architectural wonders, culture, or booming tourism, the Emirates has excelled on nearly every front. This time, it's all ready to turn heads with the introduction of a cutting-edge method of transportation. We're about to show you why a trip to Dubai is like walking into the future. If National Advisor Bureau Limited's groundbreaking proposal is approved, the UAE would have super-fast underwater bullet trains that will drastically reduce the travel time between the country and Mumbai, making these two locations merely a hop away. National Advisor Bureau Limited, a UAE-based firm, offered to establish a floating network between Mumbai and the UAE during the UAE-India conclave in Abu Dhabi. This undersea network will link the two nations, transporting passengers as well as oil and other products. This notion stemmed out of a desire to enhance travel between India and the United Arab Emirates, and this is how the idea of a super-fast underwater bullet train was born. Traveling to Dubai used to be simple because there wasn't much to see there, but things have changed now that the city has become the crown prince of the United Arab Emirates and one of the world's most popular tourist attractions. People flock to the city, and they frequently have to pay higher rates to do so. While tourists from all over the globe visit Dubai, Tourism from nearby countries such as India, Singapore, Malaysia, and others is also increasing. Travelers from the Indian subcontinent have been the most frequent visitors to the UAE, which is why the high-speed underwater train idea is expected not only to save time and money for visitors, but also to boost the number of tourists to the city. Going from Mumbai to Dubai by rail is now not only conceivable, but also doable through a breathtaking undersea route. The high-speed train will begin in Mumbai and would most likely end in Fajira, which is only an hour away from Dubai. The ticket costs are intended to be quite cheap for people in the middle class. Passengers will also be rewarded with spectacular and picturesque underwater travel. Once people are permitted to board the train, traveling will never be the same. An underwater bullet train seems far-fetched at first, and even Abdul al Shehi, the head of the National Advisor Bureau, has stated that it is still an idea that has to be investigated in future feasibility studies. It wouldn't, however, be the first underwater railway. According to CNN, the Chinese government looked into the idea of an underwater bullet train back in 2005. The Chinese government has approved a railway that would link the Chinese city of Ningbo with the island of Zhoushan. For a little over 16 kilometers of its 77-kilometer trip, the bullet train will go underwater. Back in the United Arab Emirates, the 2,000-kilometer underwater train network will carry not just people, but also oil and other products. The tunnel's idea is based on a well-known technology that has already been used in floating bridges, submerged tunnels, and offshore constructions. The floating underwater tunnels might be made up of two curving concrete tubes that will be submerged beneath the Arabian Sea's surface. These underwater tubes will be supported by pontoons that will allow ships to pass through. The tubes will be buried deep enough to be out of the way of water traffic and bad weather. The tunnel will also be waterproof, allowing it to endure hydrostatic stresses and resist the salty seawater. Due to the lack of air resistance, creating a vacuum within the tunnel will allow trains to go at incredible speeds. How will this train function? The mere notion of an underwater rail connecting Mumbai and Dubai is a massive undertaking. It will also need a significant amount of financial and intellectual capital to make this work. The goal is to build an underwater direct train network that would allow passengers to travel non-stop from Mumbai to Dubai. The whole distance of 1,862 kilometers beneath the Arabian Sea will be covered in a world record time of two hours. To traverse this distance, the train's speed will most likely be set between 600 and 1,000 kilometers per hour, which will undoubtedly outperform a plane in terms of speed and cutting-edge characteristics. It would also encourage more bilateral commerce while ushering in a new era of progress and prosperity for both nations. The United Arab Emirates isn't the only country working on an underwater train system. Many comparable initiatives are in the works across the world. By 2022, the underwater high-speed train between Mumbai and Ahmedabad is scheduled to be operational, as is China's ambition to link Russia, Canada, and the United States. The person in charge of this project has other exciting plans as well. Al Shei published the book Filling the Empty Quarter in 2015, which included a list of suggestions for turning the entire empty quarter desert into a flowering garden. One of his most ambitious ideas is to transport an iceberg from Antarctica to Fujairah. According to sources, the notion will be put to the test when an iceberg is towed to either Australia or South Africa for water harvesting. If Al Shei's plan is implemented, the iceberg would travel 10 months to the shore of Fujairah, where its glacial water will be collected and marketed as bottled drinking water. But what makes the enormous undersea project between India and the United Arab Emirates so special? One thing for certain, the tourism and economic connections between India and the UAE will continue to improve. 
The underwater high-speed train connecting Mumbai to Fajira would be a one-of-a-kind attraction if the conceptual efforts are accomplished. So let's wait and see how this tourist fantasy plays out. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fascinating content we've made, click on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.